Let's play a game. I'm going to tell you the averages of two players during the season since January 5th, and you have to try to guess who they are. Player A has averaged 21.5 points, 5.1 rebounds, and 3.5 assists per game with 47% from the field and 39% in three-pointers. Player B has averaged 20.1 points, 5.3 rebounds, and 2.8 assists with 55% from the field and 39% in three-pointers. So, which one would you choose? The stat line of player A corresponds of that of Paul George. The 13-year veteran is having a consistent season with the Clippers, and that has helped him to be selected for the ninth time in the All-Star game. Now, player B, however, is not someone you would expect. Okay, yeah, if you saw the title of the video, you would know who I'm talking about, smartass. <laughs> if there was an award for the most improved player during the regular season, this year would have a clear owner. Jonathan Kaminga has become the new star of the Golden State Warriors, and you could say that this happened overnight. Since January 5th, the Warriors forward has become a true monster. But why is that date so important? Well, that was exactly the day the Warriors locker room changed completely. The day before, the Warriors faced the Denver Nuggets. In that game, Jonathan Kaminga played just 19 minutes, getting 16 points, 4 rebounds, and 4 assists on just 7 shots attempted from the field. However, Golden State ended up losing the game. According to Sham Sharania, that was the moment when the forward lost confidence in his coach, Steve Kerr. For those of you who know how the league works, you can imagine how this information got to Shams. But for those of you who don't, what you need to know is that this information could have gotten to Shams in one of two ways. Either Kaminga sent it to him or his agent sent it to him. Double Zero was so frustrated with his minutes and the struggles the Warriors were finding during the season that he was forced to bring it to the attention of his coach. Fortunately, Steve Kerr is a man who knows when to come to his senses. He did start giving Kaminga the playing minutes and confidence he deserved. And on the very day he decided to change things up and get a fresh cut, Jonathan Kaminga became one of the NBA's newest rising stars. A very different role from the one he had during his first two and a half seasons in the league. After being selected with the seventh pick in the 2021 draft, Kaminga never ended up being part of the starting five for the Warriors. During his rookie season, he averaged 17 minutes per game. During his sophomore season, 21 minutes. An amount that did not allow him to prove his worth, even though he displayed flashes of freak athleticism while averaging almost 10 points per game. In the limited time he had, Kaminga showed that he could be very good if given the opportunity. But when he was finally given the chance, he took full advantage of it and hasn't looked back. Kaminga has played so well since Steve Kerr put his trust in him that he has nearly doubled his numbers during the regular season. Prior to January 5th, the forward was averaging 12.8 points, 4.1 rebounds, and 1.4 assists per game, shooting 50% from the field and 27% on three-pointers. Since January 5th, as I said at the beginning of the video, he's averaging 20.1 points, 5.2 rebounds, and 2.8 assists on 55% shooting from the field and 39% on three-pointers. Not only is he scoring more, he's also doing it much more efficiently. And it's not just the fact that his numbers have grown and his shooting volume has increased. His style of play even looks different than it did before. Let me explain. At 6 foot 8 inches, Kaminga is not the biggest forward in the league. In fact, with the conception of power forward in today's NBA, that height could be considered somewhat undersized. But man, his athleticism makes his presence much greater than his size. Kaminga is much quicker and more agile than the average power forward in the league. His leaping ability is unreal, and he's capable of using it on both offense and defense. Step lob, Kaminga! Davis on the run out, the lob to Kaminga! Kaminga! Right handed hammer! Nice. The lob, Kaminga! It wasn't always that way, though. Although Kaminga was a prospect with great defensive potential thanks to his athleticism, up until recently, he hasn't really been able to translate that into the NBA. In fact, one of the reasons why Steve Kerr did not give him the necessary confidence was his performance on the side of the court. He obviously has the ability to guard good players, but for some reason, his focus and discipline have never been there. During the 2021-2022 season, which was his rookie year, the Warriors gave up 5.3 more points per 100 possessions when the forward was on the court. During last season, they were giving up 5 more points per 100 possessions. However, this season, it's been a completely different story. Not only do the Warriors score nearly 4 more points per 100 possessions when Kaminga's on the court, but they also give up 4.6 fewer points. This performance has skyrocketed his advanced stats to those of a player well above the NBA average. 
But on offense, this progress becomes much clearer. Jonathan's a player whose biggest scoring strength was based on driving to the rim. He's always been able to use his great first step and acceleration to get past his defenders, who usually lack the lateral quickness to get in front of him. But beyond that, and his ability to hit catch-and-shoot threes at low volume, his offensive ability was limited. In short, he was basically a slasher. However, since Kerr gave him that confidence, Kaminga's become a much more dangerous player. His assist average has doubled because he's learned to find his teammates once he attacks the rim. His improved vision has also made it much more difficult for defenses to bring help on the weak side because he'll kick it to the open man. And that dual threat is becoming more and more of an issue for NBA defenses. In addition, his percentage from long range has increased by 12% compared to the first half of the regular season. A progress that has also been noticed from mid-range, which Kaminga is using to finish more than twice as often as he did in his first two seasons. In summary, Jonathan Kaminga has been a player who's been able to improve on his weaknesses and enhance his strengths over the past few weeks. And the scariest thing isn't just that he's only 21 years old and already practically a borderline all-star. The point is that if he continues his progression, the forward ceiling may be much higher than people expected. It's still early to say, but certainly at this point, it seems that there are real options for Kaminga to become a superstar. To do so, he will not only have to take on more responsibility, but also step up into a leadership role for the Golden State Warriors. And to do so, he will also have to work even harder on his weaknesses. Although Kaminga's improved his vision during the season, he's still far from being able to run the offense. He's not a player who's spectacular at generating advantages for his teammates. Rather, he's a player somewhat capable of creating his shot with ease. Another issue is that slashers in general have lost their importance in the NBA. Years ago, it was normal to see slashers like Monte Ellis scoring without a problem, who despite being much smaller, had a somewhat similar style of play. But even elite slashers like DeMar DeRozan have had to reconvert their game to stay on the list of the best scorers in the NBA. DeRozan's a profile that can be compared to Kaminga. Yes, I know, when he came to the NBA, DeMar was a shooting guard, but the evolution of the game has practically turned him into a power forward. When the Compton native came into the league, he was nowhere near the mid-range scorer he is today, nor was he a good playmaker. In the same fashion as Kaminga, DeMar was a slasher who somewhat could create his own shot, and the only thing that differentiates the two players might be their NBA experience. Anyway, this is a very long-term prediction. His career could evolve in a thousand different ways over the next decade. But what I can say for sure is that Jonathan Kaminga will be an all-star next season. If Mike Dunleavy can do a good job this offseason and they don't decide to start a rebuild, the Warriors can get right back into the playoff picture next season. And if that happens, it's possible that, what the heck, I'm sure that would be in large part thanks to a great performance by Kaminga.